But baby, I'm yours Baby, I'm yours show on watchhollywood.tv. I'm Stephanie Baklaan. Today I'd like to introduce you to a very, very special guest. I fell in love with him the moment I met him. He is an international recording artist, writer, singer, creator, and advocate for the LGBTQ heritage and culture. Please welcome Lamont Wheat. Yay! I love this guy. <laughs> How are you? I'm wonderful. Thank you so much for having me. It's great to have this opportunity to share with you. Very nice. Welcome to Hot Hollywood. It's uh, hot today. Finally. Finally the sun is out. It has been June gloom early in May <laughs> and up to now and so it's nice to wake up to blue skies. Uh, oh. And in addition to the blue skies we have a little bit of heat. So. Yes, we're going to have a heat wave this weekend everybody. <laughs> Time to go to the beach. Uh, let's get started. Started. We have such a short segment and we have so much to talk about. He is a, I call him a human vessel for healing humanity. Oh. So uh, you are a beautiful soul. Um, your awareness, your manifestations, he um, provides consciousness and provides self-awareness and, and love to the community and humanity. Um, let's, let's break down a little bit of what you've done and what you've co-founded. Um, you started Lamont Music. Yes. You are president. Yes. So, um, yeah, so first and foremost, I'm an artist. I love expressing through the arts. Music um, is something that I discovered would be um, impacting, impactful for my life and others. Um, and it's an expression that allows me to articulate what's important for me. Um, and about 12 years ago, I started a label. You know, this is when the transition was happening between CD sales and downloads. Uh, I was working in the information technology space and I love music and I want to get my music out. And I said, hey, with technology, I can just kind of create my own label, which is what I did. And uh, subsequently, you know, over the last 12 years, I've been doing that. I've been uh, producing my own music and independently distributing it, it through my own label. Yeah, I read um, in 2004 you released your first album. Yes. Yes. Love and Goes On. I, I lo is that the album title? Yes. Love Goes On and you uh, it was on your own publishing and your own label. Yes. So kudos to you. Yeah. That's a big deal. Yeah. And I did that living in Texas and what brought me to, to LA, Hollywood, was just uh, a desire to collaborate with people that understood how the industry worked because although we had the opportunity to do these things utilizing technology there is still that that sense of uh, community that really makes your career uh, happen with and for you you know the publicists the managers the uh, folk who understands how uh, licensing works uh, that wasn't uh, available for me uh, when I started my label and so I really wanted to move out here to collaborate with people who understood that side of the business. And you're still part of and still writing with Roba, right? In Germany, yes. which is a music publishing company. Yes, right? so I signed with Roba uh, in 2012 and so um, I've been writing uh, all of my music for them so I get published through their um, through their arm now which is based in Germany but also is uh, worldwide. Okay, we will come back. He wrote a song called Still Standing which we will partially play some of the video and I don't know what he said he's going to sing for us but we might get a little treat. Um, the song is an, a universal anthem yes. and we'll go into talking about that later with the lavender effect mm -hmm. and with what's happened in Orlando and the LGBT community, yes. correct? Um, we, w I'd also like to share with you what he's co-founded in and what his human nature is inside of what I've learned. Um, he does, he's the co-founder and or founder of East Texas Entrepreneurs Group, mm -hmm. 
which is, want to give us a little yeah. bit of insight? About yeah, the East Texas Entrepreneurs Group was, um, after I had come off tour in Europe, my mother lives in East Texas, I'm from a native Texan, and so being <laughs> in Texas, yes, uh, <laughs> I really wanted to be an expression to support people in knowing what's possible, and having a corporate background and being an entrepreneur myself, I really wanted to create an opportunity for others to experience what that is and what that can be for them. So I partnered up with uh, Richard Abusi, who is a British physicist uh, who lives in East Texas, and we created the East Texas Entrepreneurs Group. Uh, we created uh, scenarios like Shark Tanks where people got to pitch their concepts and we supported them in cultivating them from idea to fruition. That's amazing. New York Life agent Heather Bates drove 40 miles to meet these entrepreneurs. Decided to come over to Longview from Tyler. Um, love meeting new people. And the more it grows, the more success it will have. The club meets every second Wednesday night. The East Texas Best and the Restore Project is yes. also... Yes, that's also an expression of, of what I created while being in East Texas. Restore Project pretty much being one that is something that impacts us anywhere in the U.S., but specifically being in East Texas, we restore neglected communities within cities, working with city leadership, the residents in those communities, and other groups. Uh, so pretty much being a conduit to connecting people to what would have their community work for them. Um, and this is something that we discovered many people want and desire, yet they don't know within the community how to make that happen. And we started Restore Project to restore their uh, own sense of worth within their community, that they see what their community could be through who they see that they are. So where are we at today with that? I mean, uh, what is what is the impact that it's made? What is what yeah. is the active movement that's happening at this time? Yeah, so um, in the two years of our existence, what we have had are fundraisers that bring the community out to, that allow them to be a contribution to their community. Um, and those fundraisers have consisted of music uh, showcases, which I'm a musician, so I saw that as an opportunity to bridge and connect people through music. So we work with local artists that are in the area uh, and we put a showcase on. Monies go to uh, uh, supporting facades or just different types of cleanups within specific communities. We also have an annual 5K, which is called R Plus Walk, Resource Project US oh, Walk, okay. uh -huh. which gets people in action. So, um, and monies for that also do the same thing to build build a community. Do we have any organizations that you're working in Los Angeles with that? Or y yeah, there are. I'm in conversation with a couple of organizations um, that are star startups as well. Mm -hmm. And so we're talking about collaborating with them, utilizing the platform that we've created and the structure that we've created with Restore Project to be a support to what they would uh, like to fulfill on. One is an organization that will be building uh, homes, for, uh, housing for homeless veterans. And so oh, okay. in that is, is restoration. Right. My dad was a veteran. This is Father's Day weekend. And I'm often reminded of who my dad was. To me, being a veteran who fought in Vietnam, who also was impacted by PTSD, um, it's important for us to understand um, who our veterans are, what they commit to, um, and how we can be in service to them when they are integrating back into society. So um, providing a solution for veterans that have kind of lost they, their way or who may not know how to integrate and become homeless, I think Restore Project really um, can support other organizations in um, bringing self-awareness to communities of veterans and also supporting veterans in understanding what's possible for them, that they can um, integrate back into society, have a, a place to live, discover what is important to them mm -hmm. artistically mm -hmm. and be a contribution in that way.